Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, in Blockstreets, I'll be showing you the top 5 accessories. These accessories will be my opinion, so you can tell me your top 5 in the comments below. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free and it helps me out. Let's get straight into the video. Number 5. The fifth accessory on my list is none other than Santa Hat. Santa Hat is a Christmas exclusive accessory, but I think it is pretty good, especially since you can get it at the first C. There is no level cap to this. The only thing you require is, I think, 500 candy when you talk to Santa Claus and for it to be the Christmas event. You can still get it now, so get it while you can. Now to find out the stats of any accessory that you're using, just go talk to the nerd. I know there's a nerd in the cafe in C2 and mansion right here in C3. I'm not sure where they are in C1 or if there are one. But you come talk to them. Gives 30% faster run speed, 12.5% more damage on blocks, fruits and sword attacks, and then 400 energy and health. So it boosts my health a lot if I use it now. Bam, 400 extra. I'm much faster than without it. And also, I do more damage on my fruit and sword attacks. That is why the Santa hat is number five on my list. Number four. The fourth accessory on my list is the golden sun hat. You can get this hat from the random surprise for 50 bones at the hallow island now if we come to the nerd talk to him 10 percent more damage on any attack any attack and 500 health the health will help you not die and the 10 percent damage is very good considering it's for everything so it works out for any build no matter if you're a gun main, sword main, fruit main, or whatever. That's why Golden Sun Hat is number four. Number three. The third accessory on my list is the Hunter Capes. There's three of them, the black, green, and red. They make you so much faster. The speed it also stacks with mink, so it makes mink exceedingly fast. If we come talk to the nerd, 80% faster run speed, 10% more damage on melee, sword, and gun. So fruit is not buffed. And 750 health. Look at my health, 11,555. Compared to without it, 10,805. It's very good and pretty easy to get. You just have to kill some elite pirates. You can either get the hunter's cape or the hunter's bandanas. The bandanas are worse considering they give you energy instead of health, but they're still a viable option. Number two, the second accessory on my list is none other than the Holy Crown. The Holy Crown is pretty good considering you get it for a 99% chance from the Hallow Reaper at Haunted Castle. So talk to the nerd, 5% defense against any attack, 5% more damage on any attack, 5% increased energy regeneration, 500 energy and 500 health. So it gives you defense, health, damage and energy. So this is really That is why Holy Crown is number two on my list. Number one. The best accessory, in my opinion, is none other than the swan glasses. The swan glasses are just amazing. You can get them in the second C by going into the swan mansion and killing swan with like a 5 or 10% chance of getting it. Something along the lines of that. And if you come talk to the nerd, 25% faster run speed. 8% more damage on any attack, 8% cooldown reduction on any attack, 8% defense against any attack, 250 energy and 250 health. This accessory gives 
I think, practically the most amount of health in the game. I know it's only 250, but stacking with the defense, it gives a lot. This is practically everyone's best bet for an accessory, no matter the build, considering it does 8% extra damage on all attacks, 8% damage reduction, so you take less damage, and also cooldown reduction. So if I use my move, it's much faster going down than if I weren't to use it. The swan glasses, that is. If you enjoyed the video or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.